We take our role as Queensland's environmental regulator very seriously. We understand that the impacts from extreme weather events can have serious consequences on the community and our environment. So we expect environmental authority holders to be prepared and apply risk mitigation measures within their operation. Well prior to each high risk weather season, our officers undertake a risk assessment of regulated sites to determine which pose the most risk. This assessment include factors like fire or flood exposure based on past events or dust generation following dry periods. We all undertake seasonal weather preparedness inspections targeting the activities that pose the highest risk. The purpose of these inspections is to ensure that operators are well prepared for extreme weather events. These inspections will generally occur throughout the spring and summer months. You need to be prepared for extreme weather and there are a range of measures that operators can take to mitigate risks to the community and the environment and avoid departmental regulatory intervention. Firstly, operators must understand the requirements of their environmental authority and their statutory duties under the Environmental Protection Act 1994. A general environmental duty means you must not carry out any activity that causes or is likely to cause environmental harm unless you take all reasonably practicable measures to prevent or minimise the harm. It is an offence to fail to comply with the general environmental duty and this failure causes or is likely to cause serious or material environmental harm. A duty to restore the environment is triggered if you cause or permit an incident that results in unlawful environmental harm through contamination of the environment. If that occurs, you must, as soon as reasonably practicable and as far as reasonably practicable, rehabilitate or restore the environment to its condition before the harm. You must not wait for the regulator to issue a notice before commencing cleanup or restoration work. A duty to notify of environmental harm means you have a duty to notify the department of any event that threatens or causes material or serious environmental harm. The department maintains an after-hours pollution hotline for reporting. You can phone the pollution hotline on 1300 130 372. If you do not comply with the duties mentioned above, you may be committing an offence if it is associated with material or serious environmental harm. Some of the things you can do now to prepare for high-risk weather are review and update key site management plans, review your water management capacity, review your erosion measures and sediment controls, and consider your disaster response plans and the potential disaster scenarios that may occur. To plan for extreme weather, oper operators need to look at the predicted weather conditions. The BOM website is a good resource for those outlooks, updates, and weather alerts. A critical element for operators is to ensure staff training is current and that responsibilities are clearly defined to prepare for and respond to events. It is also important to clearly document notification procedures and we recommend that you rehearse your response and the notifications to make sure it works well. For many licensed operators, there may also be something specific within your environmental authority that requires notifications under certain circumstances. So it is critical that you have a detailed understanding of your environmental authority conditions. It is also important to identify key stakeholder contacts. For example, neighbouring landowners who could be affected by activities during weather events, local government contacts, emergency services and the department.